Hello there Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome to a brand new Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. And I'm pleased to say that I'll be reviewing today Vintage Collection number 76 of the brand new Wave 10 of the Vintage Collection, the first wave of 2012, and it is Jedi Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now this is definitely really cool, I'm really excited about this brand new wave of action figures. Um, all the vintage collection waves are really exciting and really um, enjoyable for all all of us who likes to collect and for those kids who likes to just play with them. Definitely a really nice figure. Let's just go over the packaging really quick, okay? Um, obviously, you have a really nice logo of the Phantom Menace. I think it really um, blends in well with the vintage card. It's really really nice and probably one of my favorites. Okay. You have a really nice still image of Obi-Wan from Episode 1. And I'm glad that Hasbro decided to choose a great image like that one. You have the brand new um, giveaway here, which is you could win a life-size Darth Maul statue signed by George Lucas and more. Details inside and all that stuff. Pamphlets underneath here, as you can see. Okay, the figure looks really well inside the uh, bubble. Now if you look to the back, it has the new um, vintage style like the original ones back then. It's called the uh, 12 back or something like that. I forgot what it was called now, but I, I like it a lot. It shows the 12 figures that are featured in this wave. Okay, so I'm assuming that Hasbro is going to be releasing 12 figures in every single wave of the new vintage collection line. Here's some of the vintage vehicles that will be released throughout the year. And uh, that's basically it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Obi-Wan and we'll continue with this review, alright? Okay guys, so I got Obi-Wan out of the uh, bubble. I'm just going to put it aside for now. First of all, here is the pamphlet for the uh, Statue of Darth Maul giveaway. Um, you just fill out the form, read everything on the back, and I'll probably explain that in another uh, video. First of all, accessories. He includes a small com link. Okay, and that's basically it besides his trusty lightsaber, but here is Obi-Wan. Now I gotta say I really like this Obi-Wan a lot. I was first kind of hesitant about picking him up because I just didn't think I would really like it or any of that stuff, but I actually like it a lot. I think it's really nice. Before I go over anything else, let's go over with articulation. He does have a ball jointed neck ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, okay, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and I mean uh, ball hinged ankles. So he's very well articulated. Um, he's been uh, in different packs. This is a repack of Obi-Wan. It's not a brand new figure. Um, but the last pack that I know he was released in was the uh, Blu-ray commemorative sets of episode one he was packed in there um, yeah he included every accessories the vintage version includes except I think without the com link and in the new movie heroes line this figure will be repacked as well um, Sith Lord 229 reviewed it so if you guys haven't seen it check it out a really good review okay um, I think the paint job and everything is really really nice on this figure uh, facial sculpt is nice it's not the likeness of Ewan McGregor per se, but it's still really nice. It's good. I like it. Um, you know, it's really cool. The robe I think is really well detailed, but it looks kind of fat for the hood. As you can see, it's way too huge. I don't like it. Um, you can take it off, so let me just take it off really quick. Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I like him a lot better without the rogue. So you can see right there. He has his trusty lightsaber. Now the complaint I have about this lightsaber is the fact that the top right here is supposed to be colored black and it isn't. They only covered colored this black. So what I plan to do is um with the Attack of the Clones vintage collection Obi-Wan, I'll probably open him up, take his lightsaber and switch it out with this one. 
just so I, look, so I can look a, li a little bit more accurate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, overall, I think it's really good. He has soft goods on the sides of his tunic and on the back, of course, as you can see. Right here, it's plastic. But overall, it's really good. The detail on the belt, it's really nice. The braid, I think, is a little too long, but overall, I know he did have it longer than the normal Jedi Padawan would. Not sure why, but... And I think his head is a little too big for his skinny neck that he has, if you guys look at it right. But all in all, this is definitely a really good figure, and I like it a lot. Highly recommend all of you guys adding this figure to your collection. Let me give you guys a quick comparison with the other Obi-Wan from Episode 1 that I have, that I reviewed months ago. Okay. Obviously, you can tell a huge difference. This is the 1998 Obi-Wan. 98, 99. It's amazing what we can do throughout the years. And I'm happy with both figures. I like them a lot. They're both really good. But overall, this one's obviously the definitive Obi-Wan. So, here's my review on the Vintage Collection Episode 1, The Phantom Menace Obi-Wan. I'm glad that lots of us have been able to obtain these figures before its original release date, which is the 31st of January. Um, I'm pretty sure many, if not all of us, will be able to have the entire waiver of the figures that we want by that date, hopefully. If uh, Hasbro you know, sticks to what they said they would do. But for now, if we can obtain at least one or two, it's good. And I'm happy to have this guy in my collection. So here's Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Phantom Menace. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please comment and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this figure, if you guys will pick him up or not, if you have him already, what you think of him. I want to see what you guys have to say about it. Please follow, follow me on Facebook. The link will be down in the description box below. Um, I'll have pictures up of these figures and all that good stuff. So uh, here's a review. Thanks a lot for watching. Stick around because I will be reviewing more vintage collection figures really soon. I will be reviewing next um, Anakin Skywalker, so stick around for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, may the Force be with you.